So by now, I guess most of you know how this works. I show you some news clips about the country in question. Breaking news out of Pakistan. There's a crisis in U.S.-Pakistani relations. Mixed messaging coming from Pakistan. Pakistan, settle your own problems. World leaders are urging Pakistan and India to take some deep breaths. And then I go there and see what it's like behind the headlines. But wait a second, I think this guy has some things to say. There's one place once described as the world's most dangerous country that's offering up a pleasant surprise. Pakistan. So should we see if we can find that pleasant surprise this man's talking about? I'm confident we're going to find something. White paper. Alhamdulillah, shukur alhamdulillah. of the Pakistan that I was expecting to see. Everyone should come in Pakistan. There's nothing wrong with it. Wonderfully peaceful now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So we're just doing our typical morning routine here in uh, Aptabad. Salam alaikum. We just got that local transport there. Um, those cost about 20 rupees each or 30 rupees um, for you know a few kilometers. And then we head to uh, this local coffee shop. Um, and then after that, we're going to head up into this really remote area. It's going to take us several hours to get there. We have to get a transport to a city and then we're going to have to hire a jeep to take us up the mountainside because you need four-wheel drive access. Anyway, salam alaikum. So we will uh, get the coffee, head up into the mountains. We've got Shabazz here. He's looking like a pilgrim with his uh, big blanket on. Shukriya sir. Have a good day. Bye. Salam alaikum. How are you? I'm ready, ready, ready. <laughs> What's the plan, Baba? Yes, we are first we are going to Mansera. It's a uh, you can say that adjacent city uh, to Abbottabad about 30 kilometers from uh, Mansera uh, We will be going to a mountain village. This is the plan right and uh, let's see how it uh, Goes because it's it's still raining outside, right? So we will try our best to do something find something yeah, yeah find something so if you missed the last video uh, Barbar is a local that we met um, and he is a, a local youtuber as well so um, he's kind of showing us around this region we'll continue on and hopefully uh, come across something <laughs> Okay, so we just pulled over uh, on the way to the mountain village, but we uh, went past the viewpoint as you could see there for Mansera. Mansera actually has quite an interesting history. Basically this road that we're following here, Babar, this was the Silk Road? Uh, no, this is not the Silk Road. The road which uh, we traveled before right. from Abbottabad, that was the Silk Road. Oh, okay, and then we turned off. Yeah, then we right. turned off and we bypassed uh, Abta uh, Mansera city yeah. and now we are in the surrounding of Mansera, it's a, it's a village also. Yeah. Can you ex explain um, a little bit about the history you were telling me before about uh, Mansera and the, the Indian kings and things like that? Quite an interesting, maybe just a brief yeah, summary. Yeah, uh, basically Mansera, uh, Mansera is uh, before the name of uh, Man Singh, who is one of uh, the ministers, very important ministers 
in the in the government of a famous king of India, uh, whose name is Akbar. Akbar, he was the Mughal emperor. Man Singh was was a Hindu. Uh, uh, you can say that minister of uh, Akbar, and he's very famous. That is why it is called Man Sehra. Okay, so uh, try not to get run over. Uh, so we've arrived in a mountain village. Uh, we've jumped out of the normal car and now we're going to uh, find a Jeep. But uh, check out this village in the meantime. Really nice to be in the foothills of the Himalayas up here. Beautiful fresh air. Uh, but uh, I must say the driver, he is um, a nice guy, of course. Don't get me wrong. But uh, he's a bit loose with the um, some of the corners there and, and the big cliffs so this is definitely more of the Pakistan that I was expecting to see uh, more local life roads are a bit more rugged um, you know so it's cool that you can come and still find this uh, you know this the side of the uh, country here um, but again people are very welcoming everywhere you go and generous so we're gonna go and find a Jeep now uh, I, I'm paying the driver 7,000 rupees for the whole day and he's going salam alaikum and that's to drive us here which was like a two hour or so drive and then we're going to get the jeep which will be another 30 to 30 minute to an hour drive up into the hills so and then returning so the orange beard uh, is something that I, I get some questions about so basically why um, you'll see in um, a lot of Muslim majority countries, uh, especially you know Middle East, the South Asian ones, is because Prophet Muhammad used to dye his um, beard. It's a natural plant. I'm not sure of the name exactly, but it's a natural dye, and so uh, they do it to uh, kind of replicate what the uh, the Prophet did. So that's in short. There's a lot more to it, but um, if you're wondering why why the orange, that's the reason. Hey guys, just want to quickly jump in and say a thank you to NordVPN for sponsoring this video. I've been using NordVPN solidly for the last year. If you don't know what a VPN is, a VPN is a virtual private network and it's basically a buffer between you and as I've said in the past, the big bad internet. So as you know, internet security is no joke these days when you go onto a website and accept these extremely long and confusing terms and conditions, you're basically handing over all your personal information to marketers and whoever else might want to get their hands on it. A VPN VPN basically blocks that. It puts a wall, a buffer in between you and undesirable people who are trying to steal your information. I recommend a VPN to everybody to keep your information safe, especially in this day and age. The good thing about NordVPN is that they have thousands of servers in 61 countries. Wherever you are in the world, you can connect to one of those servers and browse securely. There's many other side advantages of NordVPN. One of them is getting cheaper flights and hotels. If you don't know hotels and flights, the prices are decided on your location. I know currently is not the best time to be booking but in the future it's something to keep in mind if you want to save money on your on your traveling and that basically buys back the price that you'll be spending on the VPN and more so definitely worth it in my eyes another more fitting to the current times advantage of using a VPN is you can get geo block content on websites like Netflix so you can access different country movie selections so if you're in the UK and you want to get American content or vice versa choose one of these servers and access another country's content which I've been doing a lot recently so today NordVPN VPN and I are offering you guys 70% off a three year plan, which works out to be $349 per month. So all you have to do is go to nordvpn.com forward slash indigo and you'll get 70% off that three year plan plus a free month. So a huge thank you to NordVPN for supporting the channel. If you want to get that 70% discount, nordvpn.com forward slash indigo. Okay, let's get back to those Pakistani mountains. They cook it with, uh, uh, with uh, beef and also add few uh, vegetables like onions, tomatoes. How long has he been making this for? He says that they are doing this business 
from last three generations. Okay. So he's the third one. He's the owner owner of this this shop as well. They are earning good money with this business. Chapli kebab is famous among the local people. This is minced minced yeah. beef and uh, with uh, different spices like uh, red chili. Mm. Mm. It is a very different taste to it. Oh, yeah. like it. It's very tasty. Yeah, very different from the taste we used to yeah. eat in Abbottabad. 1 to 10, what's the rating? I think 9.8. Wow. 9.8 out of 10. <laughs> One chapli kebab, uh, you can buy it in 50 rupees, Pakistani right. rupees. Okay, so it's like 33 cents. So you're going to get two kebabs and one naan bread? Yeah, I'm kind of thinking of making a roll kind of a thing, you know. I'm gonna wrap the naan on those two kebabs. Yes, I guessed my country. What is your country? New Zealand. England? New Zealand. New Zealand. Yeah, yeah. Ah, I love New Zealand. <laughs> I love you Pakistan. You love Pakistan. <laughs> right. Thank you. Thank you. Shukriya. Shukriya. So he just gave us all this free because um, yeah. it's we're free. guests. It's our lunch and it's free from uh, Walidad. And he is saying uh, this is a gift uh, for uh, for the guests, yeah. especially for you, right. because you are the guest of Pakistan. So this is our jeep. Look at this thing; it's beautiful. Has the eating and going over extremely bumpy? Yeah. It's really interesting. I kind of yeah. like the taste of the naan with chapli kebab. So it's like a chapli kebab roll kind of a thing. It's really interesting, yeah. And what about the, uh, the stomach? How's it handling it when we're going over these bumps? We'll have to find out when you go up. <laughs> driving through some uh, pretty extreme trails and uh, I think we might be pretty much in the, the village. Is this the village? Yes. Okay, cool. So what should we do here? Is it possible to maybe visit a family or... What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Alright guys, it's raining really hard. We've arrived at um, one of our driver's family's house, I think. Just gonna make some shelter, hopefully not get eaten by a dog or something. Two seconds later. Hello. So we've arrived at this uh, local family's house in this remote region and they've already given me some warmer clothing. And we've met this uh, gentleman here. Uh, what was your name, sir? Muhammad Omar. Muhammad Omar. Mohammed. Nice to meet you. Uh, and so, has he lived here all his life or does he work in the city? Share me, Bijate, Gadda Taridri. So, he mostly lives here. So, you've been living here since his birth? He's been living here since his birth, yeah. Is it mainly farming that keeps the income for these families? Gadda Tarkati Bari Kartan. So, it's mostly farming, yeah. And what about supplies and things? Uh, do they have to go every so often and get some, um, you know, general food supplies and things, or how does that work? There are a few shops that are nearby this area, so they probably get it from there. 
but if they want like in a huge quantity they'll go to the main markets is life hard here or is it a uh, is it a nice life mushkil he thinks the life in this village is hard we're going to feel here but it's very good so he think that there's no such business and jobs in terms of that so you have to mostly rely on farming farming to earn their money and stuff yeah do you think that they'll stay here for the rest of their lives or maybe try in a, a different location share mein jana padega waise mushkil hai zindagi mein jaane he's like to survive here is kind of difficult so we'll probably to earn more and to have a stable income we'll have to move to the city life you know So they get milk from their own buffalo. So they you kind of have this place for their buffalo and where they can get milk from them. Yeah. Do they also sell the milk or just consume it for themselves? अपने इस्तेमाल के लिए. So they have it for their own consumption only. Yeah. And so everything that they produce here is it only for their own consumption or do they sell some produce? अपने लिए कर. So like he's doing farming and uh, and getting the milk just for their own consumption. You know. So the, okay. The, all the crops and all the like fruits and vegetables that they get from farming and so they self sustainable or do they have to buy some things kuch kuch mil jati hai kuch bahar se bhi lani padti hai whatever they mostly consume is from farming and the milk that they get and there are very few things that they need from the market so this is the kitchen there they, where they prepare all the food that they have to eat yeah You can see some utensils, cutlery. Probably a milk feeder for the kid. In the place by the fire. Yeah. And does somebody sleep in here as well? Yeah, कुछ सोता भी है. जी, छोटे बच्चे सोते हैं वो. सर्दी में. So kids like uh, kids sleep here during winters mostly. You know, by the fire and they kind of lit the fire here and they sleep by the fire. So this is the uh, cousin of the gentleman we were just talking with and. Uh, He's currently studying, right? Yeah, yes. And what is he studying? English, पढ़े math, science, Urdu, और ये मुख्तलिफ मुख्तलिफ subject हैं. Three geography और. You study history and जी. geography as well. So you speak English? A little English? जी. Aha, जी जी जी. Cool. And so, what would you like to do later in life? We are driving. Driving. जी. So he want he like he likes driving so he wants to like drive cars and okay like race car driver or taxi driver no like normal cars kind of like uh, like people pay you know? him and he yeah and so the jeeps that you get to see in this area so he likes to drive those jeeps and all okay so kind of like his some of his family members do that job yeah. and he would like to do it shukriya shukriya acha ah shukriya Assalamu alaikum. Kya hal hai bhai? Theek ho? Khariyat hai? Baitho. Ah, shukriya. So this family's kindly invited us for a chai. So we've come up to their house here and they've, uh, you know, given us a place to sit and is it a really cute little dog over here? Very very hospitable people and it's quite cloudy but you can see this is kind of in this valley. and there's some mountains in the background there hum tumhari raah dekhenge sanam tun 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 tum chale aao pahadon ki kasam tum chale aao pahadon ki kasam it means that i will be looking for you please come in the mountains you're a good singer yeah did you used to sing no no i'm a bathroom singer only Toilet singer <laughs> or a living room singer. Well, a living room. Singer. And you've got an audience. So. Hmm. So after a very bumpy ride there in the back of that uh, jeep. We have made it back. We went to Barbar's for a nice meal just now. Um, his wife cooked up a storm for us. Some local Pakistani food, followed by some chai. Of course, it would be rude not to drink chai. I hope you enjoyed that adventure. It was really uh, more than I expected. It was a bit more extreme, but I loved it. Definitely uh, check out uh, Barbar's channel. I'll link it down below, as well as Shabazz, of course, legendary man there um, with the epic hairstyle.
see you in the next video more adventures to come still more of pakistan to see we are traveling to the other side of the country in the next video so uh, get ready for different climates landscapes and people in the same country in case i don't see you good afternoon good evening and good night thank you so much for watching i would love to stand outside and to uh, you know feel the, feel snow. the snow and i would looking towards the skies and snow is uh, you know falling on my face